हेलो स्टूडेंट दिस इज़ आवर लेक्चर नंबर नाइन सॉलिड स्टेट फिजिक्स यूनिट नंबर वन सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न एंड स्टडी अबाउट वन स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज हेक्सागोनल क्लोज पैक स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो वॉट इज हेक्सागोनल क्लोज पैक स्ट्रक्चर ओके वी विल सी फर्स्ट वी विल सी द कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड देन वी विल स्टडी अबाउट देयर पैरामीटर्स ओके सो हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट हेक्सागोनल क्लोज पैक स्ट्रक्चर okay first of all we have to construct a top hexagonal layer okay which consists of six sides having six atoms at the corners and one at the center okay and next we'll construct bottom hexagonal layer consists of six atoms at the corners and one at the center okay then we will join top and bottom layers by this vertical lines in this way okay and after joining this vertical lines okay so we will get this hexagonal unit cell having top hexagonal layer and bottom hexagonal layer top hexagonal layer consists of seven atoms and bottom hexagonal layers also consists of seven atoms okay but this is a simple hexagonal unit cell okay but in case of hexagonal close pack structure there is one triangular layer in the middle of this unit cell one triangular layer of atoms okay so see this this three atoms are inside these unit cell form triangular layer okay so the hexagonal close pack structure consists of alternate hexagonal layer and triangular layers okay one unit cell of these consists of two hexagonal layers and one triangular layer in the middle okay if i want to calculate if i want to know what is the coordination number for this structure okay so what is the coordination number so i want to place one more hexagonal unit cell okay at top at the top okay at the top so this is this is the arrangement of two hexagonal close packed unit cells okay one is at the bottom and one is at the top okay if i want to find out the coordination number so i have to consider suppose i am considering this is as a central atom it is surrounded by six six atoms six ne six neighboring atoms okay six neighboring atoms okay in the hexagonal layer okay but in vertical direction the neighboring atoms are present in the triangular layers at the top and triangular layers at the bottom so if i count the nearest neighboring atoms to the center atom there there will be 12 1 2 3 4 5 in the hexagonal layer 7 8 9 9 in the upper triangular layer a layer 10 11 12 in the lower triangular layer so the coordination number of this central atom okay with respect to hexagonal and triangular layers is 12 okay so i will show you one animation for better understanding okay suppose this is a triangular layer okay this is a triangular layer consist of three atoms 1 2 3 okay in above that triangular layer the arrangement of this hexagonal layer consists of seven atoms 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 one central atom and upper and there will be upper triangular layer above it 1 2 3 consists of three atoms okay if i want to find out the coordination number with respect to this central atom okay this central atom the save six atoms okay are present in neighboring okay six atoms are present as a neighbors in this hexagonal layer and three atoms in lower triangular layer just look at this this lower triangular layer consists of three atoms 1 2 3 okay if i want to find out the coordination number with respect to the central atom six atoms are in hexagonal layer 1 2 3 4 5 6 3 in the three in lower triangular 6 plus 3 9 and 3 in upper triangular layer 1 2 3 9 10 11 12 and 12. so the coordination number for this structure will be 12 again i am repeating it 3 3 are in lower triangular layer okay 6 in the hexagonal layer just surrounded by the uh, surrounded to this 
सेंट्रल आइटम वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सिक्स प्लस थ्री इज नाइन एंड थ्री इन अपर ट्रैंगुलर लेन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व सो टोटल कॉर्डिनेशन नंबर फॉर दिस स्ट्रक्चर विल बी ट्वेल्व सो दिस इज द कॉर्डिनेशन नंबर फॉर दिस स्ट्रक्चर ओके नाउ इफ आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द रिलेशन बिटवीन द साइड ऑफ दिस यूनिट सेल और साइड ऑफ द हेक्सागॉन विथ रेडियस ऑफ द आइटम सो कंसिडर दिस हेक्सागोनल लेयर ओके आई एम कंसिडरिंग दिस हेक्सागोनल लेयर ओके एंड द सेंटर ऑफ ईच आइटम इज जॉइन जॉइंट बाय दिस साइड ऑफ हेक्सागॉन ओके दिस इज द सेंटर ऑफ दिस आइटम इज जॉइंट टू द सेंटर ऑफ दिस आइटम बाय द साइड ऑफ द हेक्सा इन द हेक्सागॉन शेप एंड हेक्सागॉन पैटर्न ओके सो दीज आर दी सिक्स आइटम्स प्रेजेंट इन द हेक्सागोनल लेयर एंड दिस इज वन सेंट्रल आइटम सो वी आर कंसिडरिंग दिस लैटरल सिक्स आइटम प्रेजेंट इन द हेक्सागोनल लेयर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ हेक्सागॉन ए बी सी डी ई एफ सो ए बी ईच साइड ऑफ द हेक्सागॉन इज इक्वल बिकॉज दिस इज रेगुलर हेक्सागॉन सो ए बी इज इक्वल टू बी सी इज इक्वल टू सी डी इक्वल टू डी ई इक्वल टू ई एफ नाउ आई एम कंसिडरिंग दिस टू आइटम्स दैट इज आइटम्स ए एंड बी of this side of the hexagon two upper upper atoms a and b i am considering here in the side two atoms a and b a and b this a and b and the the center of these atoms are joined together to form a side of hexagon okay so ab is the side of hexagon ab is the side of hexagon and a and b are atoms are just connected and ab is the side of hexagon if i look if i look that picture closely this from the center of this atom and center of a atom and center of b atoms are connected by the line that is nothing but the side of hexagon but the distance between the center and the edge of this sphere this is called radius of atom a r and this this the center from b atom center of b atom to the edge of this sphere this is the radius of b atom so if according to this geometry i can say that the length of ab is equal to twice of the radius of the atom r plus r is nothing but the length of ab from this picture i can clearly mention that the side of if suppose the side of hexagon is a okay the side of hexagon means side of hexagon ab is nothing but the equal to the a that is side of the unit cell a it is nothing but r plus r that is twice r thus from this figure i can clearly say that a is equal to twice r and the, that is r is equal to a by t from this we can find out the relation between the radius of atom and side of the hexagon okay that is side of the unit cell a is equal to twice r that is r is equal to a by 2 okay next next if i want to find out what are the number of atoms per unit cell or per unit cell for this structure number of atoms per unit cell for this structure okay the corner atom contribution would be 1 by 6 just look at this picture again i am going to the previous slide these corner atom these are the corner atoms of the hexagon top layer and these are the corner atoms of the bottom layer so the corner atoms contribution is 1 by 6 means this corner atom will be shared by 6 5 more unit cells so total it will share by 6 unit cells so corner atoms contribution is 1 by 6 this center atoms contribution is half because it is shared by this unit cell okay if i keep the unit cell above this will be shared by top unit cell uh, above uh, top unit cells also okay so it means this central atoms having contribution 1 by 2 that is half contribution in this unit cell and these three triangular layer atoms are present inside this unit cell it means these three atoms have full contribution okay these three atoms are belong to this unit cell only this will not be shared by any unit cell okay so if i want to find out the total number of atoms per unit cell or total number of atoms in this structure so corner atoms contribution i know 1 by 6 centered atom contribution is half and number of atoms within the unit cell is 3 okay 
सो टोटल नंबर ऑफ एटम्स पर यूनिट सेल कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड बाय वन बाय सिक्स इन टू टोटल नंबर ऑफ कॉर्नर एटम्स देर आर ट्वेल्व कॉर्नर एटम्स सिक्स एट द टॉप एंड सिक्स एट द बॉटम सो वन बाय सिक्स एंड कॉर्नर एटम्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज वन बाय सिक्स सो वन बाय सिक्स इन टू ट्वेल्व प्लस टोटल नंबर ऑफ सेंटर्ड आइटम्स टू ओके एट द टॉप लेयर एंड बॉटम लेयर टू सेंटर्ड आइटम बट सेंटर आइटम्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज वन बाय टू दैट इज हाफ इन टू टू एंड थ्री आइटम्स आर present inside the unit cell if i calculate these i will get 2 plus 1 plus 3 that is 6 so it means that total number of atoms per unit cell for this hexagonal close pack structure will be 6 very simple so in this slide we have seen the relation between the side of the unit cell and radius of the atom and we have also calculated the total number of atoms per unit cell that is 6 okay now we will see how to calculate this volume of this structure or volume of this hexagonal plaque structures unit cell okay how to calculate the volume so for calculating the volume i should know about the area of hexagon because top and bottom layer okay top and bottom layer are the uh, layers are in the shape of hexagon so i will first i, I will have to calculate the area of this hexagon because top and bottom hexagons are equal and they are regular hexagon so if i calculate the area of hexagon and i will multiply into the height of this structure or height of this unit cell then i will get the volume of this hexagon close pack structure okay just similar just i am quoting the similarity okay you might have seen this picture okay this is a means side of the unit cell okay and c is the height of this hexagonal close pack structure if i know the area of hexagon and if i multiply this area of hexagon with the height then i will get the volume of hexagon okay hexagonal close pack structure just i am quoting the similarity with just you might have seen this structure this is uh, this shape this is regular right circular cylinder okay right circular cylinder and right circular cylinder top surface is circle and bottom layer is also circle top layer is circle and bottom layer is circle okay if i know the area of circle and i will multiply the area into the height of the cylinder so i will get this volume of the cylinder suppose area of the circle is pi r square and height of the cylinder is h if i multiply this area of the circle with the height i will get the volume of this right circular cylinder volume will be pi r square h similar to this if i want to find out the volume of this hexagonal close pack structure so first of all i have to find out the area of the hexagon and if i multiply this area of the hexagon with the height of this hexagonal unit cell or hexagonal close pack structure then i will get the volume of this hexagon okay volume of this hexagonal close pack structure okay so area of regular hexagon i will know that i know that what is volume of this hexagonal close pack structure is nothing but area of hexagon into height area of hexag regular hexagon is nothing but 3 root 3 divided by 2 into side square side square so side of this hexagon is a all sides are equal because this is regular hexagon so a is the side of the hexagon so side square means a square so v is equal to area of hexagon volume of this hexagonal close pack structure is nothing but area of hexagon into height area of hexagon means area of hexagon is 3 root 3 divided by 2 into side squares the length of the side is a so a square height is nothing but c height is nothing but c now i will calculate this v is equal to 3 root 3 divided by 2 a square into c a square into c now i know the c by a ratio for this hexagonal close pack structure or for hexagonal unit cell so i will multiply and divide by a okay v is equal to 3 root 3 divided by 2 a square into c this is same i i will multiply and divided by a okay there will not be any effect if i, I will multiply and divide by a a divided by a now this a a square into a that will be a cube and c divided by a i will remain in the bracket c divided by a this a into a square that is a cube 3 root 3 divided by 2 a a cube and this c divided by a remain i mention in the bracket okay because i know the c by a ratio for this hexagonal unit cell so c by a ratio is nothing but root 8 by root 3 if i calculate this 3 root 3 divided by 2 into a cube into root 8 by root 3 okay root 8 by root 
3 then th this one root 8 this is root 3 root 3 root 3 cancel out root 3 root 3 cancel out i will get 3 root 8 this root 8 divided by 2 into a cube but root 8 is nothing but 2 into 4 okay inside the root but root uh, square root of 4 is 2 so i will take out from the square root sign so 3 into 2 root 2 divided by 2 div divided by 2 into a cube but this 2 to get cancelled 2 is in denominator 2 is in numerator and denominator 2 to get cancelled then i will then we will remain with 3 root 2 a cube okay 3 root 2 a cube so volume of this hexagonal closed pack structure comes out to be 3 root 2 a cube why we are calculating or why we are derive, deriving the volume of this hexagonal closed pack structure because if i want to calculate the packing fraction of this hexagonal closed pack structure so i should know about the volume of hexagonal closed pack structure unit cell okay so this volume of this unit cell will be 3 root 2 into a cube okay now i will calculate the packing density packing fraction this is also known as the packing efficiency okay so packing density packing fraction and packing efficiency are same terms so i if i want to calculate the packing density packing fraction of hcp hexagonal closed pack structure the formula is number of atoms per unit cell into volume of each atom divided by volume of unit cell so number of atoms per unit cell for this hexagonal closed pack structure nothing but six okay we have already calculated just see this number of atoms per unit cell is nothing but six the total number of atoms per unit cell is nothing but six okay so we are using those values in this formula number of atoms per unit cell is six into volume of each atom atom is spherical shape so volume of each atom is four by three pi r cube divided by volume of unit cell just i have calculated this volume of unit cell three root two into a cube okay now we will solve it 6 into 4 by 3 pi r is nothing but a by 2 because we have find out the relation between r and a and we got in this slide just see we got a is equal to twice r r is nothing but a by 2 so in place of r i can put a by 2 so in place of r i am putting a by 2 cube divided by 3 root 2 a cube now in this step 6 into 4 by 3 pi what is the a cube cube of a that's a cube to cube of 2 that is 8 divided by 3 root 2 into a cube now 6 into 4 pi it is in numerator and in denominator this a cube a cube get cancelled a cube in numerator and a cube in denominator a cube a cube a cube get cancelled now here in numerator i will we are left with 6 into 4 pi divided by in denominator 3 into 8 okay 3 into 8 into 3 into root 2 now 6 into 4 24 3 into 8 24 24 24 get cancelled now we are left with pi divided by 3 under root 2 pi divided by 3 root 2 now the value of pi is 3.142 divided by 3 into value of root 2 is 1.414 okay after calculations we will get the value 0.7406 okay so percentage packing fraction if i de uh, if i multiply this value by 100 so we will get 74 percent so the packing fraction of hexagonal closed pack structure will be 74 percent okay that is equivalent to the packing fraction of face centered cubic structure you know that fcc is having packing fraction 74 percent okay and and we have just now we have calculated the packing fraction for hexagonal closed pack structure and it comes out to be 74 percent it means the packing fraction of hexagonal plaque structure is equal to the packing fraction of fcc face centered qb so the question might come uh, the question can be asked in this way also show that the packing fraction of hcp and fcc is same so we have to derive the packing fraction for hcp and packing fraction for fcc so packing fraction for fcc will also come out 74 percent and packing fraction of scp is also 74 percent so packing fraction of hexagonal close pack structure and face centered cubic is same okay so it's all about the hexagonal close pack structure thank you